Hello again, I am back again, and today I'm going to be doing my very first unboxing and review. So it's kind of both in one video. Today I'm going to be reviewing, after I unbox it, Weasel Ball. Yes, it's a weasel that chases after the ball. And this is the original one. I think that the one I got has the yellow and green ball, which is the version I actually really wanted. So... Um, I think that's the original color the ball comes in. I did have, the, I still have it at my other house, but it's the weasel ball that has the orange and blue ball. Something's wrong with it. It's fried or something because the inside of the ball will get really hot. The compartment area will get hot. And I don't want to leave the battery in on that one because it could explode or I don't even know what could happen burst in pieces or something and get hot and cause a fire. I don't know what would happen if I left the battery in my old one. It still works perfect, though. It runs around not as fast, of course. So I already got a battery handy. It takes only one AA, which is <laughs> pretty good. In case you ran out of all of the others, you can have one. Of course, the batteries don't last that long. It basically, it just slows down. So... Just to show you that my weasel ball has the yellow ball. You can see the yellow right inside the box. I haven't yet opened this. So I'm going to see how it works. And if you want to skip this part, you can. But if you don't want to, continue watching. So I'm going to unscrew the ball here. I have an idea. What on earth? I don't remember this plastic piece being on the ball. I'm not used to... See, I think my old ones had that when you get them brand new. Sorry, it's just been a while since I've got one brand new. This is actually my third one. I had one. I still have one that has a yellow and green ball at my other house. But guess what? It's broken. It, it had corrosion. So it doesn't work. The spring's rusted. This one's not, though. So... Here's my battery. And yes, there's... Yeah. Okay. I got the battery. Now this will begin to run around, and you can actually watch it. Now let me... <laughs> quit squirming. Quit squirming for a second. I'll pause this. I'll see in just a second. So here is the weasel ball chasing after the ball. And he's pretty fast at moving when he has new batteries. Now, he will begin to slow down shortly if you leave him on for about an hour. He, sometimes he'll just shut off randomly. I'm not sure if it's a defect, but let's watch him. Yes, I am staying at a hotel. But, this is my hotel room. Isn't it nice? So anyway, you can watch him. He runs and after the ball. Sometimes he'll do flips. He will crash into stuff eventually. Let's bring him outside and see how he does outside. Yep, he's doing the backflip thing. Just a second ago. And he's spinning in a circle. The weasel. Oh! oh it just came apart. Whoa! Oh, yeah. So, got the thing back on. That's going good on the sidewalk area. Concrete. <laughs> Goes pretty good, actually. doing flips galore. So I give him a 10 out of 10. Basically, he just chases after his ball. You can watch him for hours, watch him do flips, watch him do back flips. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
Yes, very awesome. And the ball just came apart again. <laughs> Alright, so that was our review of Weasel Ball. Super fun toy. Now, there are some flaws to it. Occasionally, if you leave the battery in there, even if you have the switch off, just leaving the battery in there will cause it to corrode and rust. It will rust on the spring that's perfectly silver. And if you keep the battery in there for days and days and maybe even years or just one year, even keeping it in there for one year can corrode the spring. So it's important when not in use, take it entirely out of the ball. What you have to do to unscrew the ball, you have to turn turn it left, clock, clock, counterclockwise, like this. Turn it left, and then, once you unscrew it lefty-loosey, this is the switch. So, it's closed at first. Turn it counterclockwise, like that. And then you pop in your battery. It goes in like this. Not like this. So, just when not in use, don't don't leave don't leave the battery sit in there like this, and then and then go like this, and then close it up because um maybe days or a year it'll corrode. So don't do that. Take it, leave it out when you're not playing with it. Leave this open so that no corrosion can happen. Now, this black ring piece around here is actually for, like, this can actually be a water toy. Yes, it works in the water. Now, this is to keep moisture out, like liquids, like water. So, even if you get him wet, he will still work. Of course, the weasel will have to dry. The weasel actually doesn't have a motor. It's the special motor in the ball that the ball's spinning, and somehow, when the ball spins, it's 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 been so strong, the motor's so strong that it spins the ball and causes the weasel to wiggle. Now, I think that's really cool. Now, the nose is actually black. Now, a real weasel nose is actually pink. Now, that's a downside that's not accurate. Also, real weasel eyes are like any rodent eyes. They're not really a color. These are. So, that's our review of Weasel Ball. I give it a solid 10. It is good. It's a really, really fun toy. That was my review of Robo. Or, Robo. Weasel Ball! Bye.